some college will be like, what the hell is this girl doing? We're not gonna accept her. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this week's video, I am going to go over my common app stats and activities and all that kind of stuff. So if you haven't watched my last video, which is my college decision reaction video, definitely go check it out. So basically a rundown of what happened. For early action, I applied to Caltech, MIT, UIUC, and Wisconsin-Madison. I got accepted into Caltech early action. I got deferred from MIT early action. I got in UIUC and University of Wisconsin-Madison. And for regular decisions, I applied to Stanford, Harvard, and Chicago. I was going to apply to more, but I got into Caltech already, so I just like didn't. And then so for regular decisions, I got rejected from MIT, rejected from Harvard, rejected from Stanford, and waitlisted from UChicago. So basically this video is how I got into Caltech since that's like the only big, like big, big college I got into. And also I have committed to Caltech. I will be studying physics or astrophysics there. If you guys don't know, Caltech is like the better version of MIT. It's smaller, there's only like 900 undergrad students, so around 240, 250 a year. So it's a very small class size, which I like. And also NASA JPL is literally on campus. And that's just like so amazing, especially since I'm going into like physics and astrophysics. But also like Caltech is insanely hard. I haven't heard a single person say Caltech is easy. So yeah, I'm probably gonna die, but you know, the teamwork will make up for it. Also, not all schools this year use test scores in their application process. For example, Caltech did not look at any test scores, so no AP tests, no SAT, no subject tests. So they didn't look at any of that. A lot of the schools that were test optional, I sent my test scores. So I sent my test scores to most of the schools. Also, I want to just say that this is no way in shape or form me trying to brag or show off. Also, test scores and their activities and all that do not make up the full story because essays are also a very, very important part of your application. So if you have lower test scores than me, it doesn't mean you won't get into the schools I get into. If you have higher test scores than me, it also doesn't mean that you will get into Caltech. It totally depends. So yeah. So first of all, like the first section, which is just like my profile. My name is Lucy Tao. My middle name is Nun, which is like my Chinese first name. So my Chinese name is Tao Nun because we put last name first. And then I'm a female and I was born on January 10th, 2003. So I'm 18 now. For demographics, I am not associated with the military. I'm not Hispanic and I am Asian and I am specifically Chinese. Actually, both of my parents are Shanghainese. So I am Shanghainese, but on the comment app, it just says Chinese. So for language, I put two languages. First is English. So I speak, read, and write English, and I speak it at home. And also Mandarin, which is my first language. I didn't know much English when I entered pre-K, so like I actually started learning English when I was like five-ish, four-ish. Like I picked up words before that, but like not fully conversational English. So anyway, Mandarin was my first language, and then I speak, read, and write it, and it is also spoken at home. I actually speak more Mandarin at home than English. It's usually like a mixture because I know like bigger words in English, but smaller phrases are easier for me in Chinese. I also think in Chinese a lot of the time, and sometimes it's bad because in school, I would like be thinking about something. Someone asked me a question and Chinese would come out. So yeah. Okay, next is geography and citizenship. I'm a US citizen and I was born in Berkeley, California. So I actually was born in California, Berkeley, moved to Texas, Houston, Texas when I was like five-ish, and then moved to Chicago suburbs, Illinois, between my seventh and eighth grade year. And I actually like moving. It's good to like be in a new environment. So I'm not scared to move to college or whatever. Next to more of the interesting stuff. So education. My current or most recent high school is John Hersey High School in Arlington Heights, Illinois. And I graduated in May of 2021, which is coming fast. Also, I take a few dual enrollment classes with Eastern Illinois University. And I'll go over more into like what classes later. My school does not have a rank, which I am super happy about because like I personally don't find a point in rankings. It just creates unneeded competition between high school students. So yeah, we are not ranked and there's 426 people in my grade level. Also, my GPA when I submitted my application was a 4.65 out of 4 weighted GPA. Right now, it's like 4.7, but my unweighted is 4.0. As you will see later, I did not get any Bs in high school. But I will tell you, there was one time where I was super close to a B and you would not expect what class it came out of. So just like wait and I'll tell you guys in courses. Current or most recent year courses. So my first semester and second semester classes are pretty much the same. So I'm in AP seminar, 
slash advanced composition and research. I'm in advanced strength and conditioning, which is like basically gym class, but for weights. I am a AP computer science A, AP statistics, AP studio art drawing. Also, I am in economics and I took macro first semester and micro second semester. And on the side, it says EIU. So these are my dual credit classes. Okay, so next on to the honor section. So the first honor I put was, I was selected as sub junior lifter for US national raw bench press team for IPF bench press world champs. So because like there's a limited character count, basically that just means I was on team USA for bench press world championships. That was supposed to happen last year 2020 but it got cancelled so that sucks i didn't get to compete but hopefully i could qualify this year my second honor is i was the first place ictm pre-calculus senior individual rain area competition regionals 3 aa and that was from last year so when i was in 11th grade and so we have this math association thing called ictm and we compete and i was actually put up on the senior team as a junior so i competed in the pre-calc competition and i got first place at regionals and that was also right before the pandemic so we didn't have a chance to go to state which sucks third honor i put was third place 2019 usapl raw nationals 57 kg team 2 female i got third place at raw nationals 2019 that is the meet that i qualified for worlds with and yeah that's pretty good. Actually, it's not that hard because um, there's not a lot of people who competed, but third place at nationals for my age and weight class. And then my fourth honor is first place Illinois State and second place East Central Division MTNA Junior Piano Competition. So I got first place at state and that moved me on to division and I got second place, which is alternate and I just ended there. I didn't go to nationals because I got second. But yeah, I did that freshman year. And then lastly, I said honorable mention of the Greater Chicago Chapter of the American Harp Society Competition Junior Division. So I got honorable mention at this harp competition and that was in 10th grade. Future plans, I said scientific researcher and masters. I have no idea what I'm going to do in the future, but that is kind of the plan. Okay, so now to my test scores. So basically, I got a 740 on my reading writing section on the second time I took my SAT. And then I got an 800 on the math section. Personally for me, the math section is very easy and that's because I'm like a math person. So yeah, the second time I just made a mistake. Like, I always finish the math section like 30 minutes early. So anyway, on the essay, I got an 18, which is not good because I'm not a good English person. For subject test, I only took the math two and that was in June of 2019 and I got an 800 on that. I actually did take the world history one, but I like totally bombed it. AP subject test. So freshman year, I took Chinese and Human Geo and I got a five on both of them. And then for sophomore year, I took Calc BC Physics 1 World History and I got five on all of those as well. And also got a five on my AB sub score. And then junior year, which is the year I took things online, I got fives on both Physics C electricity magnetism and mechanics and honestly that class is one of my favorite classes ever i just love that class so much so i got fives on that i got a four on u.s history and i got a three on ap link which i didn't put on my application since you can only put up 15 ap's so yeah i just didn't put that i don't like my three but i'm just not good at english if you haven't noticed and this year i said that i was going to take computer science a economics macro and micro AP Studio Art Drawing and Physics 2 and Statistics but actually I decided to cancel all my tests because Caltech does not accept AP credit. They were like, if you took AP class, we're just gonna say good job and that's it. Like we have to take entry exams to like see where we are and they don't look at any AP. So there's no point in me taking them. The only one I'm taking is art because I have worked so hard on my portfolio and I wanna like have a score for it. So yeah, I canceled all of them except art. Okay, so now on to activities. For my first activity, I put weightlifting because there was no powerlifting. So I had to put weightlifting, but just for the record, I don't weightlift, I powerlift. I did that my sophomore, junior, or senior year. And then on the side, it just says, do I do it for the whole year or just the school year? And then how many hours a week and how many weeks per year? And if I'm gonna continue doing this in college or not. So I put weightlifting. For my position, I am on the US National Bench Rest Team. And also I'm in the USAPL, which is a drug-free powerlifting federation. And these are my numbers. So I said 276 squat, 165 bench, and 281 deadlift. So 722 total at 130 pounds body weight in pounds. I am ranked third out of 2020 raw female team two lifters under 63 kg. And I'm ranked ninth out of 2020 raw female team two out of all weight classes. So these are just rankings in the database. So I put powerlifting as my first activity. 
And for my second, I said, I'm an active competitor on Hersey Mat Team, NSML, and ICTM. I was on Mat Team all four years. In addition to the award I listed in the honor section, my team got a first place and perfect paper, which means a perfect score on the junior senior eight person contest. We also got first pre-calc team, third for oral assistant, second perfect paper relay, second team geometry, and that was for state. And these are all ICTM. And for my third activity, I said solo piano performance. And I got honorable mention at the International David D. Dubois Piano Competition and Festival. And I got honorable mention at the MTNA Illinois State Competition for Senior Piano Performance. Next, I said a community service. So I do peer tutoring at my high school. I said I tutor peers in all subjects, including Cal 3, Differential Equations, Physics C, and Chinese. Sometimes we'll teach missed lessons for absent students and help on homework and corrections. And I did that junior and senior year. Next is also community service. So I am a vocalist, pianist, and keyboardist at Village Point Church Worship Team, which is the church I go to. So sometimes I co-lead worship and sing like melody and harmonies. I am the pianist, so I play lead lines and also chord progressions. Also keyboardist, I play the pads to fill up the space and sometimes we have midweek Bible studies. And then next I said YouTube content creator. And at that time I have 442 subs. I said I post weekly content since March 2020 on powerlifting experience and it helped my public speaking and my most viewed video was my DIY combo rack video which has 25k plus views and has like 30 something k views now. After that I have another music one. So I was the principal slash co-principal harpist in Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra Symphony Orchestra so like the highest orchestra in CYSO. We perform at Orchestra Hall at Symphony Center variety of music performed from classical to Bernstein's West Side Story and Chicago soul music at galas. So we have concerts in the fall and the spring, but also we have for like winter, we have galas, which are my favorite because it's not classical music. It's more like contemporary music, which I love. Bernstein's West Side Story, like that is just beautiful. So next I put art. I'm a 2D art student and in the visual arts program of John Hersey High School and I have my work featured in Harper Art Show, Bridgepoint Art Show, Chicago Land 4x5 Show and I work with a variety of mediums and also I'm an AP Studio Art Drawing student. Next, I said solo harp performance and I said I was featured on the WFMT's introduction which is a classical FM 98.7 Chicago radio. I perform solo and improv background music for church during holidays and special events. And for my last activity, I was debating on whether putting NHS, which a lot of people do have on their application, or to put, I am a social media manager for my cockatiel. So I decided to go with that. I knew some college would be like, what the hell is this girl doing? We're not gonna accept her. But yeah, I mean, at that point, he had 19K plus followers. He has like 35K followers. Like a bird has 35K followers. Like, sorry, that's some skill. So anyway, I said post daily content of mochi singing since March 2020 and I answer daily messages on bird care and tame. I also cook for my bird and I take him out to the park with a harness and leash. So yeah, that's just like more of a casual side to me, which I think is really important because like I love my bird. So I am putting it up there. Okay, so lastly, I'm going to go over my courses that I took during my high school year. First of all, I took accelerated honors geometry at my high school during my eighth grade year. So actually this is like a really cool story. I took geometry for like most of the year. And then like the last month, my teacher was like, this class is way too easy for you. I'm moving you up to algebra two. I took algebra two for one month, took the final. And that's basically all I did for algebra two because freshman year I took pre-calc. So yeah, I'm actually very thankful for that teacher for pushing me up because if he didn't, I couldn't have taken physics at an early age and I couldn't have like done so much of math and that kind of stuff and that literally changed my whole high school career. I really did just do one month of Algebra 2 so if you have any Algebra 2 questions don't ask me because I am not good at Algebra 2. So anyway freshman year which is school year of 2017 to 2018 I took AP Chinese, AP Human Geography, Art 1, Concert Orchestra for the first semester, Freshman Gym, Honors Written Oral Communication, honors pre-calc and honors bio and I got A's in all my classes and the story of where I almost got my B it was in gym class you might be surprised because I lift now and I'm an athlete but for a freshman gym we have to do like a test whatever so I have to run I suck at running so I failed my running test it was like the 12 minutes so like after they put in the grades and stuff I was at a 85 or 80 I think I was at an 88 and I was like Oh no, I cannot get a B, especially in gym. 
Like I cannot get a beat. Like I didn't really go on a bench press test. I didn't go on a sit ups on a toe touch or whatever. It's just that running test, that 12 minute that ruined my grade. So I went up to the teacher and he's really nice. He lets me lift every single time our class plays games. So I was like, can you like please round my 88 to an A? And he literally told me that I needed some variety in my life, but he actually did round me up to a 90. So thank you for that. That's like the only class I had to round up for. So yeah, sophomore year, I took AP Calc BC, AP Physics 1, which I took as an elective. Usually people at my school take Physics 1 as a junior, but I was super interested into Physics, so I took it as an elective. I took AP World History, Health for my first semester, Weights for my second semester, Honors World Lit and Composition, which is like the English class, and then Honors Chemistry and Intermediate Art. So I got all A's as well. And then for junior year, I did Advanced Strength and Conditioning, which is the Weights class, Advanced Art, AP Lang, AP Physics C, AP Physics C Lab, since AP C is a two period class, AP US History, Calc 3, and Diffie Q. I took Calc 3 first semester and Diffie Q second semester, and these were dual credit classes I took with Eastern Illinois. That's like as far as my math goes, since I ran out of math classes and also I ran out of physics class. And yeah, also I forgot to mention, in my courses for this year. I am also doing an independent study, which is like basically just me studying by myself with a teacher sometimes of AP Physics 2. So yeah, I just basically study some physics on my own because I did run out of physics classes, just like how I ran out of math classes at my school. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for my classes and grades and activities. Hope you guys enjoyed. That's basically what I did throughout my high school career. But as I said before, this does not tell the whole story. There's a lot more about me that I wrote about in my essays, which I personally think are more important because they do give an insight of who the person is because you can't tell who a person is just by a few numbers. So yeah, and don't forget to like the video if you did and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss another video. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.